Good day, cherished brothers and sisters. As the sun graces the sky with its radiant presence, may your day be adorned with moments of joy, peace, and fulfillment. In the tapestry of life, each day unfolds as a unique chapter, presenting opportunities for growth, love, and shared experiences. Let the warmth of camaraderie among our brothers and sisters be a source of strength and inspiration. In the vast tapestry of our world, where there are marvels to behold and challenges to navigate, it is essential for us to be watchful. We must be careful not to stumble into the traps that could hinder our spiritual journey or even the places we visit. By holding on to unwavering faith, embracing humility, and dedicating ourselves to living in harmony with God's teachings, we can navigate the complexities of life. A poignant reminder of this comes from the story of Our Lady appearing to Vika, cautioning her against visiting places that may lead her astray. The guidance encourages us to make choices aligned with our spiritual well-being and steer clear of influences that may divert us from the path of righteousness. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Before delving into the main essence and substance of this presentation, we invite each and every one of you to join us in a moment of spiritual reflection and communion, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart, fill me with your love and your life, and help me become a truly loving person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. An urgent apparition of Our Lady conveyed a crucial message, advising humanity against visiting certain shops in August, as they are deemed to be associated with the devil. Now, this important message is being shared with all of you. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, each of you should pray on your own because each person is aware of what to ask for and what to give. How much I love you, children, how much I love you. My calls are not for nothing. My words are urgent. Before humanity's resistance triggers the harshest of my prophecies, it must come to an end. What sorrow and suffering this generation will endure. Beloved children of my heart, I come to call you not to go to these shops anymore and stop doing these actions because they can drive you to a dark future. August is coming with much chaos and challenges with humans, therefore, you mustn't go to the shops that sell items related to demons or devils. When you go there, the power from the demon will control you and make you weaker. These so-called devil items are often portrayed as cursed artifacts, possessed objects, or tools used in occult rituals. They may include cursed amulets, haunted paintings, enchanted mirrors, ancient relics with dark histories, and other mysterious trinkets. 
Legends and tales surrounding these items warn of their potential to corrupt the hearts and minds of those who come into possession of them. These shops can be shops everywhere, every place all over the world. Beloved children of my heart, when August comes, you must not go out after 11 p.m. at night because the devil will take control of darkness and harm you. On a special and important day in December, when the sun goes down and the sky turns dark, a strange and deep darkness will slowly cover the whole town. It will feel like a heavy, dark blanket covering everything, making the lively town become spooky and strange. As it gets darker, a bell will ring to let everyone know that the darkness is coming. People will quickly go inside their homes, close their curtains, and shut their doors to stay safe. The streets, which were busy before, will become quiet, with only the sound of candles and people quietly praying. Since it will be very dark everywhere, it's really important not to go to the shops that have connections to bad things during this dark time. It's a time when we should be careful and stay in the safety of our homes. Beloved children, all heartfelt repentance is welcomed by my Divine Son, who receives you in His merciful arms. The future of humanity is tragic, but if we stand together in brotherhood, it will change, and you will experience the peace you have long yearned for, turning over the earth to the Creator for His glory and the salvation of humankind. Pay attention, children, pay attention. In the churches where the sacraments are lived out correctly and especially where the Eucharist is celebrated, our sacred hearts will be seen. May my blessing on each person be the balm that will sustain you in the faith. I love you, I bless you and protect you. John 1 verse 5, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The verse conveys the enduring strength and resilience of the light. Despite the presence of darkness, the light continues to shine, and the darkness cannot overcome it. This is often seen as a message of hope, indicating that the positive forces of light, goodness, and truth will ultimately prevail over the negativity and challenges represented by darkness. It encourages believers to have faith in the power of goodness and truth, even in the face of difficulties. The verse is a reminder that, no matter how overwhelming the challenges may seem, the light of Christ and the principles of righteousness will ultimately triumph. Let's set aside our individual concerns and unite in a collective spirit of reverence and devotion. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven and Earth, I humbly beseech thee, from the bottom of my heart, to succor me in this necessity, there are none that can withstand thy power. O, oh, show me in this that thou art my mother. O oh Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.